Welcome to Whose Turn Is It? I am your host for this day. This day. This game. Playthrough. Whatever. It's my turn. It's Jubby Flavic. And with me is Oddly. Hello. And DJ Inspire. Hello, there, gentlemen and ladies. And ladies cannot exclude the ladies. We are playing Clock Tower, technically Clock Tower 2, because Clock Tower 1 came on NES, but it only came out on, or sorry, SNES, but it only came out overseas and never made it to an English version out here. So technically, in America, this is Clock Tower 1, came out on PS1, but it's technically Clock Tower 2. Canonically mm -hmm. Clock Tower 2. You know, the tracing on that mouse totally makes me feel like I am on some hardcore drugs. Because it just traces hard, and I know from experience what tracers are like, and whoa. Andy. I'm just saying for Damn, are you getting deep, man? Glow sticks for days. Who was doing Harris? It was <laughs> <Harris. laughs> you. Survive the clock tower murder is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting to get the therapy room. Yeah, you gotta make him be like all happy. I forgot what his other voice was, so... Uh, is there something I can do for you? <laughs> something freaking clown. <laughs> oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue here. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan... Metropolitan. Metropolitan. <laughs> yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrels mansion named Rick. The Rick. Dick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. <laughs> He's going to show it to him. He's going to show me that Rick's dick. I'm pretty sure he would be, well, I could ask Harris to show it to him. <laughs> he wants to show it to him. Should we ask Harris to show it to him? Yes. So, here's... Know, actually, he, so, the, basically, it's asking... Either uh, he's going to show it to the Professor Sullivan himself at the Metropolitan Library, or he wants to give it to Harris to have Harris fucking go get give it to some guy named Rick in the suburbs. So this does change the outcome of the game. Yes, this, it, so you. This, I feel like we should go there ourselves. So do you want the question is do you want to go to this guy named Rick's house or do you want to go to the library? Well, Sullivan's a trustworthy name. All right, so okay. we're going to go to the library. Library it is. All right, I'll ask Harris to show it to Oh, me. shit! Shit! Oh, <laughs> I selected the wrong thing. Whoops. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, My Harris, we just hit the statue to show it to a My bad, guys. man named Rick. You know, is just that any the Rick. statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, Harris, you freaking clown. Yes, it is. <laughs> Would you Damn, ask dude. him? Damn, <laughs> He is a clown, though. Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good. Thank <laughs> you. I should probably go to the therapy room. I need therapy after this. Fuck yeah. I gotta change my ascot from <laughs> fucking bright green to a fucking bright yellow. And it's gotta be a fucking bright yellow. It looks more like a hospital room than it does a therapy room. Thank you much for coming. Oh, wait. How do you do? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, you can be Kay then. I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward? I thought he completely lost <clears throat> all his memory from the shock, and I thought he had sparkles all over his body. Does he remember his name? That was a terrible joke. <laughs> no, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. I was going to call him Angus Young, but uh, he didn't like that one. And he can't play guitar very well, so that was... That was not a very good name. Now, now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything about your life. You remember about what <laughs> happened? Uh, yes. That was so fitting. <laughs> well then, let's get started. Data save, because oh, we did so fucking snap. much, right? Moving on to some actual gameplay. All right, here we go. Jennifer. Yep, you were right. It's selected Jennifer as the scenario. Here we go. Helen is at home yet. I think I will go out for a while. It better be cold out if you're wearing a sweater like that. Where shall I go? It's Misty Where do we go, guys? Oslo Weekly Newspaper Co. Norway Int Hotel. Municipal Library. 
University Univ Research Bulldog. Bulldog. Univ Staff Housing. I think it's university. I mean, it is university. It is university. Um, I'm just. just I'm sorry. What was the one on the left? The newspaper company. Yes. Let's go to the newspaper. Let's do it. If I went to the newspaper office, I would just be chased by reporters. Well, well, don't well then why the fuck did you arrest him? <laughs> what the hell? We both get all pissed off. Well, maybe she it. wants to go to the library, read a boring ass book. Stuck let's, up. Let's go to the library. Bitch. Metropolitan Library. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan, is the head librarian. He made me give him a handy in the office one time. I didn't really appreciate it. But I got a free book. Told me to keep it secret. Keep it safe. <laughs> Municipal library. Oh, I guess I gotta hit a button, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you can't bite the button. Okay, who's gonna be Sullivan? He's a big fat guy. Oh, Jennifer, <clears throat> did you come to check out a book or something? Mr. Sullivan! You're as cute as ever. How's Helen? See, now is that not for a bone? She's fine, but she's been busy lately. I see. Oh, by the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to come see? <laughs> it's quite a collection of archaeological value. Good value? Um, no thank you. I don't really want to see him again. It would take a long time. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Well, drop in for a visit any time. She wants to show her his collection, bro. Well, that was uneventful. Univ Research Building... I will go see Helen. Bulldog. She will still be in her lab. She'll still be in her bulldog? In her bulldog. This time I hit a button. I didn't wait. <laughs> he did it. I did it. Who's going to be Helen? I'll be Helen. Oh. oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Oh, Randy. I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? It's Jack in the Box. My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. Oh, I gotta get it. Gotta... Restore tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in its usual place. Right in the lock, turned all the way to the left, so that the deadbolt is not in the hole. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. <laughs> well, that was also uneventful. Oh, I don't want to go there. I forget. She fucking just gives me a cock tease option for no goddamn reason. So the, hotel. Going back to the hotel. Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. Uh oh. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Somebody else has to be Edward now. He's a little piece of garbage. He's what a little he is. bastard. <clears throat> that means you have to be Edward because he's got to be K. Okay. Is this boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I am Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures of the paper. She just got this fucking high class snooty thing. <laughs> oh, my name is Kay. I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he gay? Yes, he is Edward. <laughs> Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer. Edward has lost his <laughs> memory from the shock of... What happened? Yes, I've heard. It was glamorous. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. Dot, dot, dot. He was hoping you'd be able to come visit Edward. Please... Yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can if he can make me. He's a child, Jennifer. Well, I must be going. <laughs> and I'm gay. Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. Bye-bye. The little boy of little words. He looks like a teenager. Why is he talking like a freaking five-year-old? Bro, he was in all shock. Of his memory? He just watched all of his fucking foster fucking siblings get fucked. Oh, I guess they probably should huh? like... Huh? Someone's in front of the house! <gasps> oh, that's... 
Dot, dot, dot. Oh, that's just the mailman. He stops by every now and then. When, he, when Helen's home. Oh, mailman. Seems to be three or four times a day whenever Helen's home. Always when Helen is home. Every time Helen is home. Oh, I was a skill, wasn't I? You're the reporter that came to the university. Oh, I'm both of these. Yep. Yesterday, aren't you? <laughs> oh, please call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the clock tower. I can. Case for a long time now. Even though it was a really big case, really big case, there's very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you, too. And what's under that sweater, man, sweater, they're sweater? They're all creepy, man. Every single one of them. Hey, what do you say have to having dinner with me? See what I mean? I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? <laughs> oh, well, uh... Boner. Four dots. Uh, Boner alert. That's it. Both. <laughs> yes, both. An interview and a date. Giggity. All right, then. Tee-hee. <laughs> Let's go. We even had to throw in a tee -he. A tee -he. A tee -he. Here we go, boys. It's finally Here we go, boys. The it's finally Simpsons. happening. <laughs> it's very late. Here we go. They're going to have their own voice acting right here, I believe. Yep. Scandinavia? I wonder where they're at. <laughs> and the footsteps happen. They have their own reactions, anyways. Oh, that's their that's their brand safe IKEA. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dude, she's boogieing. Someone's following her, and she runs into like the one place she shouldn't run. Well, she's going to the university. Oh, it looked like she was running into a park to me. Sorry, I don't know the game. What's wrong? Oh, they've got their voices right now. And it begins, boys. The Scissor Man has come. The Scissor Man cometh. All right, I need to find somewhere to hide. Let's go to the boys' bathroom. Hurry up, you stupid bitch! No, she's just like. <laughs> Isn't I that what he'd expect, though? I don't fucking That's know. Like man. Classic I, I haven't played this game in so long. Is right there, right? Am I right? Hide in the stall. Hike your feet up. Or don't. Just stand there so that he can see your fucking feet. Oh, or your right. shadow. Right? Look at that shadow dangling around and moving. Okay, the music stopped. Does that mean he's gone? I think. I don't know. And... Prison he, shank! He is not here. Yeah, surprise, prison shank. Oops, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> There's no sign of Scissor Man hiding in here. No <laughs> shit! <laughs> No he's, shit, he's girl. He's not in here. I was just sitting here, but did see me. There's blood on her hands, probably from the security guard. I guess it was probably a good idea to wash your hands. A sink. They'd, be, they'd think that you're the one that killed the security guard if you had the blood on your hands. <clears throat> Shark! Oh. God, I fucking forgot how much this game makes my nerves stand up. Scissor Man's a prick, dude. The room appears to be a laboratory, but the door is locked. It's laboratory. I'm sure Helen's laboratory is on the second floor. Okay, that's cool. Well, let's keep looking at shit while we're on this floor. Huh? I wonder where we're supposed to go. I have no idea, dude. I've, I haven't played this game well, so Well, I mean, she mentioned that Helen's laboratory is on the second floor. It's a box. Boxes. Can you hide in the box? There doesn't seem to be anything inside. Well, I mean, Bobby Barrow's probably inside. Stuff full of complex charts. What's this? Discovered hint number two. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's little hints that you can find in the game. Let's say you took the box, right? Must be some food crumbs or something. The corner of the box is covered with ants. Ew. What is this? A That's box for ants? It's empty. There's some tools, but nothing seems useful. This might be useful. You now have all your kids. There's, There's tools. Man. Nothing There's seems tools. useful. This must be useful. <laughs> it's 
blocked. Okay. So I think we have discovered all this room can provide us. So we're going to go ahead and leave now. Does that mean if you found hit number two that you missed hit number one? Well, obviously. Hit number one's hiding around here somewhere, though. Either that or we missed it from the beginning at prologues. Well. It's locked. We're going to search every single... Ah! Oh, oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Sizzle burn! You so, son of a fucking bitch! So if you run into the bathroom, is he going to chase you in there again? I'm sure he'll chase me in there again. I'm not chancing that shit. We're going to play the elevator game. Come on, run to the elevator. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, say you be that classic horror movie, press the button. You can't go out ah, that door. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! Push the button, push the button! Come on, bitch! Come on, bitch, get in the fucking elevator! I like how he's just like not there, and he's oh, like. Oh, he's there. coming! Shut! What the fuck's happening? What the fuck's happening? Oh god oh, damn you it! Gotta push a button. Ah! See, is that classic elevator scary scene? Doors like being super slow. He's like, oh god. Okay, we're not gonna go out on the first floor for a second. Watch him waiting right outside the door. Shake. Don't fucking say that shit. Okay, we're gonna find out what happens on the next episode of Whose Turn Is It? Bye!